first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel a uh, two quick information about the field free to learn platform so first is the pen drive so from the previous year we started giving all my youtube videos what i posted on my field free to learn platform in the offline mode that is in the pen drive mode or in the sd card mode so if you want this pen drive or if you want sd card kindly whatsapp us we will give you all the details how to purchase and all the details will be given so whatsapp us and get all my youtube videos what i posted on my field free to learn platform in offline mode so where you can able to watch my videos without internet and second importantly so after getting this pen drive the test series will be activated that is all in one test package so inside that inside a quantitative aptitude you can able to see five topics on pipes and pistons that is five test on the topic pipes and pistons so don't forget to write all the five test either after watching all my pipes and pistons video or else if you already know the concepts of pipes and pistons so don't forget to write the test series always practice is more important so in case if you want to get the pen drive so don't forget to whatsapp us so friends, thank you so much and now let me move on to the topic of pipes and pistons. So friends, in this lesson number 4 on the topic pipes and pistons, so now we are going to solve some of the question that is based on efficiency model. right? So before watching this video, again don't forget to learn time and work first and then always start learning from lesson number 1. So only then while coming to this lesson number 4 you can able to understand how I am writing the equation, how I am converting the values everything. right? So now in this lesson number 4 we will be solving the question that is based on efficiency module. You know what is called as efficiency right in the time and work itself I have told you. So what is called as efficiency and how to write the efficiency into a proper term. For example A is 3 times efficient than B. A is 5 times efficient than B. Right? There are many cases. Usually when you take this efficiency concept, they can ask you a three kind of question. That is three types of question. One is the question that is based on this much times faster. For example, A is three times faster than B. For example, pipe A is three times faster than pipe B. Or pipe B is five times faster than pipe A. So this is based on this much of times, right? Understood or not? Second will be hours faster. So hours faster will be like, for example, pipe A can fill the tank 10 hours faster than pipe B. Understood or not, right? So they in the first model that they will talk about three times faster, four times faster. In the second model question, where pipe A can fill the tank 10 hours faster than tap B. So they will talk about efficiency based on hours, 10 hours, 5 hours, etc. First module, it is based on this much time faster. And there is a third module that is based on percentage faster. For example, pipe A is 80% faster than pipe B. Pipe B is 20% slower than pipe A. Understood or not? Those questions are in efficiency but it is based on model number 3 because they are asking some efficiency that is based on percentage. So these are the three model questions they can ask you from the topic efficiency in the topic pipes and pistons, right? Not only in here, even in time and work you can able to see efficiency based on times, efficiency based on hours and efficiency based on percentage, right? So these are the three models where you can able to see the questions in all the many competitive exams and mostly we can able to see 80 percentage of the question only from the time area and remaining 20 rare cases percentage faster is very rare case but times faster or hours faster are mostly asked in the many competitive exams right so three times faster will be the first model 10 hours faster 5 hour faster will be second model 80 percentage faster than tab b this is called as a third model right so before solving this question that is on efficiency, you have to know one important thing. Always efficiency is inversely proportional to time. So never forget this, right? Most important, right? Very most important. Always efficiency is inversely proportional to time. So what is called as inversely proportional? For example, if I am a fast worker, let me take two, there are two person working, me and you, right? So if I am a fast worker and you are a slow worker, if I am a fast worker, then I can able to complete the work speed within, for example, you take five hours to complete this 
a painting a room but i take only one hour because i am a fast worker if my efficiency is more understood if my efficiency is more then the time taken to complete the task will be less yes or no right if your efficiency is very low you are a slow worker if you are a slow worker then the time taken will be i yes or no you will take extra hours if i am completing a work in 10 hours because you are a slow worker you might take 30 hours or 40 hours to complete the task that is the reason where efficiency is always inversely proportional to time if you are more efficient the work will be completed in less time if you are less efficient then the, the time taken to complete the work will be more similarly apply the concept in pipes and pistons if the tap a efficient is more than tap b then definitely the time taken to fill the tank will be faster yes or no right if there is a tank right so this will be tap b and this will be tap a let me assume like this so just see here where tap a right fill tap is where efficiency efficiency is nothing but the water that comes out from tap a is three times more when compared to tap b then definitely if the water coming from tap a is three times more than tap b then the tank will be filled easily within few hours the tank will be filled why because the efficiency of tap a is more when compared to tap b that's the reason we are saying efficiency wherever the efficiency is i then the time taken will be low if the efficiency is low then the time taken will be i understood so friends that's it you should never forget this and then while solving a question i will teach you for this much of times faster how to apply the logic and if it is a percentage how to apply the logic so i will teach you all the concepts there but before solving a question you have to understand that in a efficiency module there are three concepts one is this much time faster and this much hours faster and this much percentage faster and one important note always efficiency is inversely proportional to time never forget this whenever the person efficiency is more then the time taken to complete the task will be low whenever the person efficiency is less he is a slow worker then definitely time taken will also be very high because he is a slow worker the time taken to complete the task will be high so don't forget that only because this is inversely proportional right and then i have told you this concept so same concept what we learned in time and work here we are going to learn about pipes and pistons on tap a and tap b that's it so friends now let me move on to the question that is based on efficiency question number 1 so one pipe can fill a tank three times faster as faster as another pipe so if together the two pipes can fill a tank in 36 minutes then the slower pipe alone will be able to fill a tank in so friends after reading this question whether with this question is which model right just see the question one pipe can fill a tank three times faster it is times faster this much of times faster will be model number 1 right understood so now just listen here one pipe is three times faster than another pipe what is the meaning of it just listen carefully so let me take pipe 1 as a and the pipe 2 as b so here one pipe is three times faster than another pipe so if pipe 1 takes 10 hours just listen carefully example i am saying in terms of time right if tap a right if tap a takes 10 hours to fill the tank then tap b will take 30 hours understood or not only then we can say where tap a is three times faster than tap b understood or not because tap b is slower tap a is faster three times faster so because of faster where the time just now i have told you right if efficiency is more then the time taken will be less right so here tap a is how much times faster three times faster so if three times faster then the time taken by tap a is 10 hours but tap b will be 30 hours three times faster so now we should not write like this we should write in terms of x right so what you can do here is when you take this as a value as x then b will be 3x so friends understood or not so most of the students will write a as 3x b as x don't do that here we are writing in terms of time so while writing in terms of time where you can see a will be three times efficient than b 
So if B takes 30 hours, 3 into 10 hours, A will take only 10 hours, right? So now according to the question, if together, that means if both the tabs are open, the tank will be filled in 36 minutes. So we can say tab A will be 1 by X, tab B will be 1 by 3 X. If both the tabs are open, then the tank will be filled in how many minutes? 36 minutes, so equal to 36. That's it, when you solve this equation, so 3 X, plus x divided by 3x into x will be 3x square is equals to 1 by 36. So here 3x plus x will be 4x. So 4x into 36 is equals to 3x square. So we can cancel x and 1x here. So cancel it, 1, 3 is our 3, 12 times. So 12 into 4 will be 48. So x is equal to 48. So finally we got the value of x will be 48 and all the values are in minutes. So x is equal to 48 minutes. Now according to the question what they are asking us, then the slower pipe alone will able to fill the tank in. So here tab A is faster, tab B is slower. So our target is to find the slower pipe how much time it takes to fill the tank. We know the value of x is how much? 48 minutes. So here the slower pipe is how much? 3x. So 3 into 48. So this resultant will be 144 minutes. So finally we can say that the slower pipe alone can fill a tank in 144 minutes. If you want to write into hours and minutes, divide by 60. 2 hours, 24 minutes. Right? So this will be the answer for question number 1. Very easy question. Be slow if you are learning for the first time this efficiency concept. Be very, very slow. Right? Don't think that you are taking 5 hours, sorry, 5 minutes or 10 minutes to solve a single question. Not at all an issue. While learning, even if you take 15 minutes, 20 minutes to solve one question, not at all a problem. Right? Learn the basics. Be strong on the basics. Most of my videos I have said this. If you are strong on the basics, then you can able to solve all the questions in the pipes and pistons in a traditional method within a faster technique. Even some traditional methods are there where you can solve fastly. Just see whether it is difficult. No, nothing is difficult here. Here you don't want to learn any shortcuts or nothing like that. Because the traditional method itself is very simple. Then why you want to go with a shortcut? Right? So this is easy. Right? So always remember that if this is this much time faster, you should know how to write A value and B value. Sometimes the question will be based on difference. For example, tab A, tab B, difference will be 32 minutes. I will teach you all the cases how to solve the question. Right? But this will be the answer for question number one. Question number two. So one fill pipe A is three times faster than the second pipe B and takes 32 minutes less than to fill pipe B. So when will the piston be filled if both the pipes are open together? So friends, first read the question again and try to understand what are all the values they have given and what we need to find. Right? So this question is based on model number one. Why? Because the question says three times faster than the tab B. So totally there are two tabs tab A and tab B. So now according to the question where tab A is three times faster than tab B. So what you need to do here is you have to write the B value as 3x, A value as x. Just now I have told you why we are writing like this and what you should not do. You should not write 3x here and x here. That is wrong because tab, according to the time I am saying, according to the time where the tab A takes three times faster than tab B. So if B takes 30 hours, A will be 10 hours. That's the reason we are writing A is equal to X, B is equal to 3X, right? So now, according to the second point of the question, so takes 32 minutes less than the pipe B. Just see here, tab A is taking 32 minutes less than tab B to fill the tank. Understood or not? In the previous question, if both the tabs are open, then the time taken to fill the tank will be this much of minutes at the previous question. But here, what they are saying is, Tab A is taking 32 minutes less when compared to tab B. The meaning here is the difference, right? So tab A, difference tab B to fill the tank will be 32 minutes. 32 or 36 minutes? 32 minutes. So now we know that the value of A will be X. Difference value of B will be 3X is equals to 32 minutes. So difference will be 2X is equal to 32 minutes. So X is equal to 16 minutes. So friends, understood or not how I wrote this? Just, just listen carefully. So this is the important step here. We know that A equal to X, B equal to 3X. Now according to the question, what they are saying is, tab A takes 32 minutes 
less than tab B. The meaning here is the difference between both the tab will be 32 minutes. Yes, right. So difference between A and B. So X and 3X difference will be 2X. So 2X is equal to 32. X is equal to 16 minutes. So now we found the value of X will be 16 minutes. So substitute here. So A alone can fill a tank in 16 minutes. B will be 16 into 3. So B alone can fill a tank in 48 minutes. 3 into 16 will be 48 minutes. So now what is the question? The question what they are asking is when, when will the piston be filled if both the pipes are open together? We know A alone can fill a tank in 16 minutes. B alone can fill a tank in 48 minutes. If both the pipes are opened. So 1 by 16 plus 1 by 48. That's it. Solve the question. So 48 will be the LCM. So 3 plus 1. So 4 divided by 48. So cancel it 12. And all the values are in minutes. So 12 minutes. So if both the pipes are open, the time taken to fill the tank will be 12 minutes. That's it. See how easy it is. If you know how to write this, just now I have told you how to write this value. So if you know that every question that is based on this much of faster, this much of time faster, you can follow this method. And in the previous question where both the tabs are opened, so we have added here one tab is taking 32 minutes faster than B. Then the difference between both the tab will be 32 minutes, right? So that's the reason I have taken the difference here. Understood or not? And then after finding the X value, substitute here. And according to the question, if both the tabs are opened. So if both the tabs are opened, then the time taken to fill the tank will be 12 minutes. That's it. So this will be the answer for question number two. Question number three. So inlet A is four times faster than inlet B to fill a tank. So if A alone can fill it in 15 minutes, how long will it take if both the pipes are open together? Again, this question is based on model number one. You can able to see the question start like four times faster. So what do you need to do? First write this. So A is equal to X, B will be 4X. Always first write this step. And what is the next step? Where A alone can fill a tank in 15 minutes. So now what we need to find is, if both the tabs are open, then what is the time that required to fill a tank? If both the tabs are open, so 1 by x plus 1 by 4x. So we need to find is equal to question mark. If both the tabs are open, then what is the time that takes to fill a tank? And according to the question in the second line of the question they have given, tab A alone will take 15 minutes to fill the tank. That means the value of x has been given in the question itself. So 1 by 15 plus 1 divided by 15 into 4 will be 60 is equal to question mark. So take LCM as 60 here. So this will be 4 times. So 4 plus 1 is equal to question mark. So 5 by 60. So 5 by 60 is nothing but 1 by 12. So answer will be 12 minutes. So all the values are in minutes, right? So we can say if both the tabs are open, then the time taken to fill the tank will be 12 minutes. Easy or not? So always if it is 3 times faster, 4 times faster, 10 times faster, this will be the first step, right? So what is the next step? And this will be the second step. Right? So if you write this two steps correctly, this step always students won't make mistake. I hope now you can able to understand it. Second step where some students usually make a mistake. Read the question again and again. Just check what are all the values they have given. Whether they have given the value of x directly in the question itself. Substitute it. In case if they have not given the value of x. Definitely if both the tabs are open and the time taken will be given. Equal to write that value. Or else this tab which takes 32 minutes faster or 32 minutes slower than the next tab. Then you have to find the difference like what we did in the previous question. Only three model on type 1 that is based on this much of times faster. Right. So very easy to solve. It's a basic method, traditional method. So I hope first model now you can able to understand how to solve. So from the next question we can move on to the second model like this much hours faster. We can solve like that. Right. So this will be the answer for question number three. Fourth question. So if two pipes function simultaneously, a reservoir will be filled in 12 hours. One pipe fills a reservoir 10 hours faster than the other. 
so as taken by the second pipe to fill the reservoir in dash as so very again this is like something a different question when compared to the previous model because previous model the question starts like tap a is four times faster than tap b yes or no right tap a is three times faster than tap b but just look at this question here two types open simultaneously right here two pipes are open simultaneously and the reservoir will be filled in 12 hours that is the first point they have given what about the second point one pipe fills the reservoir 10 hours faster than the other so it's model number two that is based on hours faster 10 hours faster or five hours slower so those cases again a same way of writing but listen carefully so a is equal to just just listen carefully one pipe takes 10 hours faster than the other right so if x will be 10 hours example i am saying if x is 10 hours so what about b b will be 20 hours yes or no only then we can say one pipe will take 10 hours more than b so friends understood or not right just listen carefully one pipe fills the reservoir 10 hours faster you not more faster than b it where the second tap take 20 hours but the first tap take only 10 hours this can be said as one tap takes 10 hours faster than another tap yes or no so here if you need to write in the same term in terms of x so a will be x b will be x plus 10 so friends understood this point or not right in the previous three question we have written as a equal to x b equal to 3x 4x 5x that is times but here one tap takes 10 hours faster than another tap the meaning here is if the first tap is x then the second tap will be x plus 10 so only then we can say one tap will fill the tank 10 hours faster than the other tank so friends understood or not right so a equal to x b equal to x plus 10 so if you write this then solving all the remaining parts will be very simple and you have to solve one quadratic equation alone at the end just see here so now according to the question if both the tabs are open then the tank will be filled in how many hours 12 hours so first will be 1 by x plus 1 divided by x plus 10 if both the tabs are open then the tank will be filled in 12 hours so now we have to solve it so x plus 10 plus x divided by x into x plus 10 is equals to 1 by 12 right so this will be 2x plus 10 so divided by x square plus 10x is equal to 1 by 12 so when you cross this 24x plus 120 equal to x square plus 10x right so this can be written as x square so when you bring 24x towards left hand side that will be minus 24x so this will be minus 14x 14x when you bring this 120 towards right hand side that is in minus 120 so here alone you should know how to solve this quadratic equation right so you have to find the value of x so here we have 120 minus 120 so 26 minus 20 plus 6 when you multiply both the number resultant will be minus 120 when you add both the number resultant will be 14x so now this can be written x square minus 20x plus 6x minus 120 equal to 0 so x will be x minus 20 6x minus 20 equal to 0 so x minus 20 one value second value will be x plus 6 is equal to 0 so x minus 20 equal to 0 so x is equal to 20 right one value x plus 6 is equal to 0 x is equal to minus 6 so minus 6 negative value will not be considered here only positive value so we can say that value of x will be 20 by just seeing you may see that the question is very difficult because we need to solve long right most of the students will think like that it is a long procedure not at all a long procedure right only for while learning you have to write all these steps but if you are strong after solving 10 or 20 question from this step right you can directly write this step and from this step you can directly write this step understood or not right all these steps are not required only to understand i'm writing all these steps in the exams after practicing you don't want to write all these steps right you can directly write the third step after writing the third step you can write the equation after writing the equation from this value itself you can decide one value will be negative one value will be positive all these steps are not required right directly you say you can say that x is equal to 20 x is equal to minus 6 minus 6 will not be considered only the positive value x is equal to 20 
So finally, we got the value of x is equal to 20. And now according to the question, what they are asking us, as taken by the second pipe. First pipe, x is equal to 20 hours. Second pipe, 20 plus 10 will be 30 hours. So we can say that the second pipe will take 30 hours to fill the reservoir. So which is the answer for the question. So friends, understood or not, right? So very easy and very simple to solve. Only thing here is, you need to know how to write this. In the previous question, it is faster. In this question, it is hours faster. That is times faster and hours faster. So time faster, only x and 5x, etc. But here, hours faster. So a will be x, b will be x plus 10. That's it. If it is 20 hours faster, x plus 20. If it is 5 hours lower, x minus 5. That's it. Everything will be simple if you understand the concept, right? So this will be the answer for question number 4. Fifth question. A reservoir is fitted with two pipes A and B. So pipe A can fill the reservoir 5 hours faster than pipe B. If both the pipes together fills the reservoir in 6 hours, the reservoir will be filled by tap A alone. Same concept, right? Here you can able to see where the tap A. Previously, they didn't say the tap A and tap B. They have told like one tap is 10 hours faster than another tap. So we assume that tap A is tap 1 and tap B as second tap. But here, according to the question, they have directly given there are two taps where tap A fills the reservoir 5 hours faster than tap B. So what you need to do here is assume A as X, same model, B as X plus 5. That's it, right? For example, in case if the question is like tap A is 5 hours less than tap B. In those scenario, you have to use B equal to X, A equal to X plus 5. That's it. If it is faster, assume like this. If it is lower, write opposite here. Write B as X, A as X plus 5. That's it. Right? So now what is the question? According to the question, if both the tabs are open, the time taken to fill the tank will be how much hours? Uh, together in 6 hours. If both the tabs are open, time taken will be 6 hours. So A plus B, right? So 1 plus X, 1 plus 1 by X plus 5 is equal to 1 by 6. If both the tabs are open, then the time taken to fill the tank will be 6 hours, so 1 by 6. That's it. If you find the x value, then you will get tab A and tab B, how many hours it will take to fill the reservoir. So now according to the question, what they are asking is, what is the time taken only by the tab B to fill the reservoir? That means we have to find what is the value of x, right? So just cross multiply and solve here. So x plus 5 plus x divided by x into x plus 5 is equal to 1 by 6. So this will be x plus x will be 2x. 2x plus 5. When you cross multiply it, 2x into x will be 12x. 5 into 6 will be 30 is equals to x into x will be x square. And this will be 5x. I'm sorry. Okay, so this will be x square, right? So 5x. When you bring this 12x towards right hand side, it will be minus 12x it will be minus 7x, right? 30 towards right hand side, minus 30 is equal to 0. So that's it, minus 30, you have to find 10 into 3, so minus 10 and plus 3. So when you multiply it, resultant will be minus 30. When you add both the value, resultant will be minus 7. So now we always, negative value, will we will remove the negative value, right? Here it is plus 3, but while writing, it will be minus 3. So remove this, so the value of x will be 10 hours. So that's it, right? It's easy or not. In the previous question, we saw a little bit lengthy, lengthy way. Why? Because uh, each and every step I have explained uh, you, right? With how to cross multiply, how to add and how to take this equation, quadratic equation value. But here, once you practice more, then all those steps are not needed, right? Just take LCM, find the quadratic equation, find the two value. So which value will be negative here? While writing, it, it becomes positive. So consider that positive value alone, x is equal to 10 hours. So now according to the question, tap A, right? So A alone can fill the reservoir in 10 hours. So which will be the answer for question number 5. That's it, right? So the first model, this much of times faster, I have told you how to solve it. And the second model, if it is this much of hours faster, I have told you how to solve the question. Next to, uh, model will be percentage, this much of percentage faster. That's it. Right. So answer for question number 5 will be 10 hours. So friends, last question. So capacity of tab B is 80% more than that of tab A. Right. So if both the tabs are open simultaneously, they take 45 hours to fill the tank. 
So how long will tab B takes to fill the tank alone? Again, this question is based on percentage model, right? A percentage faster. But the same concept, right? Just see here, in the first model, A is four times this much of faster. So what we did, we assumed A as X, B as 3X, etc. In the previous question, five times faster. So we assume A as X, B will be X plus five. But in this case, you can see capacity of B is 80% more than A. In most of the cases where A is more than B, but in this case, B is more than A. So what you can do is B assume as X, so A will be X plus 80 percentage of X. So why? Because where the capacity of B is 80 percentage more than that of A. So when you assume B equal to X, A will be X plus 80 percentage of X. 80 percentage more. That can be written as or else 180 percentage of X. You can write like this also. 180 percentage of X. Understood or not, right? So if B equal to X percentage, A will be 180 percentage of X. Why? Because 80 percentage more, right? So now what you can do here is this percentage can be written as by 100. Cancel 0, 0 here. Cancel it on 2 table 9 by 5. So A equal to 9X by 5 and B equal to X. That's it. So friends, understood or not, right? where B capacity is 80 percentage more than A. So we assume B equal to X, A will be 180 percentage, right? So after writing 180 percentage, percentage removed, 180 by 100, and then cancel it by two table, so 9X by 5. So now according to the question, if both the tabs are open, it, it, it takes 45 hours to fill the tank. So 1 divided by 9X by 5, second tab 1 by X, both the tab take 45 hours, right? So when you bring this 9x by 5 to the numerator, so this will be 5. So this will be 9x. So now cross multiply it 5x plus 9x divided by 9x square is equal to 1 by 45. So this will be 14x. So 14x divided by 9x square is equal to 45 here. Cancel 1x here. 1, 5 times. So 14 into 5 will be 70. So x is equal to 70 hours. That's it. So finally, we got the value of X is equal to 70 hours. So now according to the question, how long B will take to fill the tank alone? So we assumed B as X. Now we got X is equal to 70 hours. So we can say that B alone takes 70 hours to fill the tank. So which will be answer for this question, right? So friends, that's it. Uh, so we have solved many cases in this efficiency question. So that is three cases. One is this much of times, this much of hours and this much of percentage. So now what you need to do is practice, right? Practice is more important. By just watching this video alone, you can't able to solve all the question in pipes and crystals. That is not at all possible. You have to spend separately one hour or two hours of time to solve many questions in this efficiency module. I have given the test series in the pipes and crystals. There are five test series which contains, I think, 23 questions on efficiency. So write all the 23 questions that is inside that five test. So once you write all the test series in the pipes and crystals, then you can able to understand how to solve the question on pipes and uh, crystals efficiency module. If the question is difficult, if the question is little bit tricky, how to solve. So everything comes only in practice. So once kindly practice more number of questions, so definitely efficiency model and even the complete topic pipes and crystals will be very easy. So friends, thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it, share this video to your friends, those who are preparing for the competitive exams or else if you are preparing, if your friends are preparing for the campus interview, so definitely all my YouTube videos will be helpful. So friends, thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.